Hello and welcome back. It's day 43. I've noticed that flying insects love to land on my mango seedling. It must be giving off a very flavorful, pleasant aroma that they love. Even though I can't imagine that there would be any similar smell in the wild that they would normally be attracted to. This is an alien plant in their environment. And on day 51, you can easily see why I didn't have an update a week ago. It's because there's no noticeable growth in the surface area of these leaves, no new leaves. They do look thicker and more mature, but there aren't any more of them. And the smallest two leaves, the newest two, one of which you can see here, don't seem to have increased appreciably in size. I don't know why everything is stuck in a state of stasis. Could be that this plant is recovering from root rot, it could also be that the positioning in the pot is not optimal, so I'm going to rectify that. First, I'm going to use a bottle, a squirt bottle filled with water that has a little bit of fertilizer dissolved in it, just a fraction of a scoop of miracle Grow, and a crushed multivitamin in there. I figure the multivitamin concentration could be a little higher than the fertilizer and not cause problems but as you can see the squirt bottle is stuck because as I later found out there are indissolvable elements in there so I could pour out the supernatant later after everything settles and wash out the bottle that's not really the problem the reason I'm doing this is because I want to provide enough fertilization to ensure that the plant gets every bit of nutrition it needs but I don't want to overwater, which would be easily the case if I were to just use my showering can and drench everything from the top again. So a few mLs squirted in like this will travel down the base of the stem, the tap root, and get to where it needs to go without adding too much water. And then I'm going to shower that off with a few mLs from the showering can of distilled water. If you use tap water, you'll get water spots on the leaves and salt up the soil eventually. For such small volumes it doesn't matter. I, I mean not in the a sense of you know costing yourself a lot of energy to make all that distilled water. So I've rotated this pot and I'm hoping that this position will be better. You can see there's a dead spot there. I hope it's not a precursor to root rot. It's not a symptom. could also just be some flying insect parasite that landed on there and transmitted a disease that killed off that section of that leaf. But this is the best position for my lemon tree series pot, which is a little bit to the left of this on the balcony. So out of five seedlings, this position was the best and the one where the seedling survived. So I'm going to go with that.